On 10 December 1989, Marine Battalion Landing Team 10 was created pursuant to Headquarters Philippine Marine Corps General Orders No. 145. It was initially named MBLT-11 and was composed of personnel from different units of the Marine Corps. Created to combat a deterred ultra rightist groups trying to destabilize the administration of President Corazon Aquino. The battalion was organized as a rapidly deployable force in critical areas of Metro Manila during the 1989 coup. One of its significant successes was the retaking of Mactan Air Base from the rebel soldiers of Brigadier General Jose Comendador. Thereafter, it was transferred to Tugagarao City, Cagayan and was tasked to fight the uprising against the government. The battalion was tasked to go after the rebel soldiers, including then Cagayan Governor Aguinaldo, who eventually negotiated for his surrender. The battalion was deployed in the areas of Basilan and Sulu where massive combat operations were made against the lawless Abu Sayyaf group. During the height of the terroristic activities in Basilan and Sulu, the battalion contributed a major role in the fight against the Abu Sayyaf group and other lawless elements. The unit led combat operations that resulted to the fall of Camp Al Madina and the rescue of kidnapped victim Anthony Tonton Biel in 1993. MBLT-10 contributed in the neutralization of Abu Sayyaf Group Commander Barahama Sali and the rescue of kidnapped victim Father Cirilio Nakorda in 1994. On 15 July 1995, MBLT-11 was renamed MBLT-10 pursuant to Headquarters Philippine Marine Corps General Order No. 227 dated 07 July 1995. MBLT-10 with its motto Kapayapaan brings peace in all places of deployment. The battalion moved to Northern Palawan and was deputized by the government to implement environmental preservation laws in the area called the Last Frontier. On July 1998, the battalion sailed back to Manila for retraining and refurbishing. On 09 April 2000, MBLT-10 was deployed in Kauswagan, Lanao del Norte and commenced a dauntless assault towards the Moro Islamic Liberation Front encampment in Camp Bilal. Medal for Valor Sergeant Tomas V. Campo, Philippine Navy Marines Sergeant Campo, Philippine Navy Marines was awarded the Medal for Valor for acts of conspicuous courage, gallantry, intrepidity at the risk of life above and beyond the call of duty. During an encounter with 150 heavily armed MILF separatists to capture Camp Bilal, an MILF stronghold in Lunay, Lanao del Norte, Sergeant Campo came to aid of 10 Marines wounded by hostile fire, pulling them to safety and treating their wounds. As he attempted to rescue an 11th casualty, who was hit by enemy fire and killed in action. The unit participated in the all-out war campaign against the MILF that led to the clearing of Narciso Ramos Highway and the fall of Camp Abu Bakar. The battalion was transported in Holo Sulu and conducted combat operations against the Abu Sayyaf group and thereafter the rescue of kidnapped victim Jeffrey Schilling in year 2000. The battalion conducted massive assaults against enemy camps and assaulted Camp Imam Wailan in Vital Ag Complex. The battalion went back to Manila for retraining and refurbishing at Headquarters Philippine Marine Corps on 11 September 2007. MBLT-10 participated in the arrest of Lt. Antonio Trillanes IV and the Magdala Group in Manila Peninsula Hotel on 29 November 2007. The battalion moved back to Sulu, and on 25 September 2011, the battalion successfully defended its area of operations from lawless groups. The battalion was redeployed in Luok, Sulu, and gained numerous successes in combat and security operations. MBLT-10 liberated Barangay Tugas, and captured Camp Kanjimao and the Abu Sayyaf Lair in Luba Hill. 
MBL T10 was deployed in Tawi Tawi and successfully neutralized Abu Sayyaf Group sub leader Ninok Sapari. On 25 May 2017, MBLT-10 was deployed in Marawi City and played a major role in the liberation of Marawi City from the Daula Islamia Mautu Group. MBLT-10 underwent retraining and refurbishing program at Headquarters Philippine Marine Corps on October 2017. MBLT-10 participated in the Rim of the Pacific Exercise 2018 in Honolulu, Hawaii. The unit also underwent training with the Australian Army on urban close combat operations. On 14 August 2018, MBLT-10 landed in Cagayan Province. The unit established military foothold in Fuga Island, Apari, Cagayan on 07 August 2020. Marine Battalion Landing Team 10 conducted all-in-one Bayanihan in Fuga Island, Apari, Cagayan from 10 to 13 September 2020. MBLT-10 conducted humanitarian assistance, disaster response and relief operations during the onslaught of Typhoon Rolly and the massive flooding caused by Typhoon Ulysses in Cagayan Province that led to the rescue of 545 individuals.
living up with the Marine Corps ethos and guided by the motto of Karangalan, Katungkulan, Kabayanihan. MBLT-10 will always be your reliable, amphibious force in readiness that will uphold the sovereignty of the country, support the Constitution, defend our territory, and protect the Filipino people.